Hello everyone! You already had a chance to learn about our Fluidworks lineup, but in case you missed it, please make sure to watch that video first. I'll now be talking about and showing you how easy and straightforward it is to upgrade our Fluidworks workstation, namely, how simple it is to add an additional GPU to the system. What I have here is the X5000 series machine with two graphic cards inside, which is the starting configuration for this model. Like I said already, you can add two more GPUs to the system anytime you desire or when it's necessary. I'm holding here an add-on GPU unit with pre-assembled water block, fittings, tubes and quick dissonant couplings. Everything is pre-filled and ready to be inserted into the system. I'm about to show you just how easy and risk-free this actually is. But before you do anything, please make sure that your workstation is switched off. First, we unscrew the I.O. cover from the chassis and we save the screw for later. Then you take the GPU and insert it into the empty PCIe slot, one of the two that are available. We firmly press it down until we can hear the PCIe locking mechanism click. Now we fix the I.O. bracket back with the screw that we kept safe. And then we attach the power connectors. And now, the fun part. Connecting the unit to the liquid cooling loop. You worried? Don't be. Take the first tube, the one closer to the GPU. Hold the quick disconnect coupling, or QDC for short, and just push it onto the first empty counterpart on the distribution block. You will hear a click, and that means the QDC is firmly connected. Try pulling the joint to make sure the connection is established. You need to apply a bit of force since QDC counterpart is spring-loaded. We'll now repeat that with the second tube and connect it to the right side of the QDC. It's next to the previous one. Keep in mind that if you don't push it entirely in, you will not have a leakage. However, cooling circulation won't be established. Of course, there is another important thing you must not forget. Without it, the machine will not work. You have to push that power button. And that's what we all, guys. It's fully liquid cooled and plug and play. No loop draining, no dripping, no worries. Everything is dry as air but 100% liquid cooled. As I said already, you can start off with basic configuration. No need to think, what if? Just go for it. And you can always upgrade the system whenever you need to. It's like tuning your car, basically. I hope you enjoyed this video and that I was able to bring liquid cooling even closer to you. Thank you for watching, everyone. Goodbye.